The year 2020 will always be considered pivotal in the history of humanity. COVID-19 stopped the world on its tracks. COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. 200,000 deaths. Pandemic continues to worsen. In our own lifetimes, we witness what a major pandemic could do and how critical are vaccines to our survival. The origin of vaccines is connected to the story of smallpox. For centuries, smallpox would ravage the world as an uncontrollable force of nature, leaving millions dead in its wake. Civilizations like the Aztecs vanished from Earth because of smallpox brought by the Spanish conquistadors. And then one day, smallpox was conquered. A simple search on Google will take you to 1796 when the English physician Edward Jenner discovered a genius way to counter smallpox, deliberately infect a person in a very controlled way. When the actual disease comes, the body is already immune and he termed the process vaccination. But there is more to the story of vaccines than meets the eye. 18 years before even Jenner was born, Britons like Robert Gould and other Europeans had documented the exact same process already happening in India for centuries. This was inoculation or as Indians called it, Tika. Several European letters of 18th century discuss how Brahmins in Bengal would take a small amount of material from a smallpox pustule, pass it through the skin of a healthy individual using a twisted thread and immunize him against the disease. All this while reciting hymns of Shitla Devi or Guti Ki Thakurai. If you look at Bharat's continuous unbroken tradition of scientific inquiry of diseases, such a tradition makes perfect sense. 7th and 8th century works like Vagbhat's Ashtang Hriday Sahinta and Madhavkar's Nidan have extensive discussions on Masurika and its successful treatments. A simple conclusion can be made. Vaccination for smallpox was prevalent in India way before it became known to the West. You would expect to find the simple fact in the medical history of the world. After all, with such independently verifiable accounts of Britons themselves, there should be no doubt that vaccination was born in Bharat. Yet, praise and recognition was not what came Bharat's way. In 1802, the British Raj banned the centuries-old tradition of inoculation and its practitioners to make way for the repackaged vaccination process. When smallpox was finally eradicated from India in 1977, we all applauded in unison thanking the Saviour West for giving us vaccination, just like they gave us civilization and infrastructure. <laughs>